Hey, this is Dave Gleason. I'm head coach here at Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Today I want to talk to you about youth soccer fitness. So if you're a coach or parent coach that works with kids specifically in the age group of youth, the U6 range, so you're, you're talking about four and a half, five, uh, almost six years old, uh, what things to look for and how to arm yourself to be a better coach for these, these uh, spudding little athletes that you're working with here. Now keep in mind, uh, in the grand scheme of things, they are not soccer players yet. They're not developing little soccer players. They're actually still discovering athleticism within uh, the grand notion of overall development. So I want you to keep that in mind. Um, one thing that I've picked up along the way is the phrase, no lines lapse of lectures. And I want to use that as the backdrop to what I'm about to say. Now let's start with lines. First of all, whether you're an adult or a child, how fun is it to, to stand in line? Not very. One of our primary jobs as a coach of a young child is to keep things as fun as possible so they'll want to come back next year. Now how do we get away from lines? First of all, make sure every child in your practices has a ball. Okay? That way whether you're playing tag, red light, green light, or any other host of childhood games that they already know about, add a soccer ball into the mix. It's great for them developmentally. It helps with spatial awareness, coordination, body awareness. Um, they're going to get more touches on the soccer ball with their feet, which is crucial. Having them go out and scrimmage is all fine, um, but it's not going to help them increase any skill level whatsoever. And that's really what it's all about, is developing their skill and letting them have as much fun as possible. So we've covered lines. Um, laps. Very quickly, uh, my education tells me that kids that are this young are very non-specific in terms of how their bodies will increase their aerobic capacity. Now what does that mean? How do you get your kids in shape to play soccer? Laps are not going to do it, especially at this age. Okay? Um, being non-specific basically means no matter what you do with your kids, your U6s, they're going to get in better shape aerobically. Their aerobic capacity is going to get better. They'll be less winded running up and down the soccer field. With that said, why not, again, keep it fun? No laps. Um, have them play tag. Have them play skip tag. Have them play tag with a soccer ball at their feet. Um, there's a million games. I just want you to get uh, into your mind the approach that you should have with your young athletes. Let's move on to lectures. Uh, again, how fun is a lecture for a six-year-old, let alone most adults? Not very. Keep your kids moving. Keep a ball at their feet and put them in from one game to another game to another game to another game. You're going to increase their uh, physical capacity, their aerobic capacity. You're going to increase some skill. Um, and if they're playing small-sided games, which they should be, um, probably three or four a side with goalies or no goalies, Everybody's on defense or everybody's on offense. If the other team has the ball, everybody's on defense. If we have the ball, everybody's on offense. So listen, keep it simple and keep it extremely fun. Now, I didn't learn all this through my many years of playing soccer through the college ranks and beyond. Uh, I didn't learn this um, actually even when I coached soccer camps all the way up through college. Where I did learn these type of concepts is the IYCA, the International Youth Conditioning Association. They're not a soccer organization, but what they are is an organization that deals with one thing and one thing only. Kids, pediatrics, in terms of youth fitness, uh, sports performance, uh, youth athletic development, youth nutrition, speed and agility, anything in terms of making a young child a better athlete, which will in turn help them become a better soccer player, lacrosse player, football player, whatever they want to be when they get older. Uh, it's the IYCA, International Youth Conditioning Association. They have a website. It's www.iyca.org. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. You're going to learn uh, some of the things that I, I taught you today, plus a host of other things. It's, it's really, really endless. So if you want to be a, become a better coach, check out the IYCA today. Listen, thanks for your time. Uh, if you are a coach, good luck this season. And um, I know that your, your kids are lucky to have you. 
Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again real soon.